Okay, happy Sunday. So Jeff is investigating a power issue. <laughs> Created this big power line. And... Yeah, I screwed up. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. For some. Oh, I was making jelly. Oh, because like it wasn't saved, so I don't know if I have all the stuff I need still. Got gold, got silver, cobalt. You gave me hydrogen jelly, right? Or did you give me the other stuff? The dye hydrogen? I gave you the stuff to make the dye hydrogen jelly. That's what I thought. Okay, so. Dye hydrogen. Okay, so I still have the 1100 or 1200 actually. Let's do that. We're gonna make the jelly. Oops. Oops. Is that all you can say? That was really poorly done. Was. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching and happy Sunday. Boss fight. Another boss fight already? I think you need to change the parameters of this boss fight bingo game. These boss fights are happening much too often and the bosses may not be getting paid fairly for the amount of work they are doing. Okay, jelly being made. Okay, that, and this is all to make. That so I need five metal plates. Oh, I had metal plates. There, save point, so we know that's going to be made. Cannot build, no edit permission? What? What? Did I invite it? Well, I invited you back in. Right? I don't know anymore. <coughs> Yeah, no, I'm still here. The base, it's prob it's a base building thing. No, exactly. no, 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 no. The game crashed again just before break. Oh, okay, scene. Yeah, no, I, I knew it crashed before the break, but I thought I accepted the group invite. It doesn't. You're not showing up, so let me reset. Oh, okay. It. I'll accept I it again. One sec. What's that noise? What noise? Pirate raid? No. Pirate raid? From where? I don't know. Planetary pirate raid. Oh, but at the trading post. The one that you're right next to. I'm not getting an alarm. There's two trading posts in this area. Oh, well, I'm going to hide in I can see something flying over you, unless that's you. No. Is it, are those pirates up there? Yeah. 
Did you ask you to send the invite one more time then? Okay, I do actually, there is stuff actually shooting stuff here. Yep. Okay then. I'm hiding in one of my holes. <laughs> okay. Invite sent. So we stay on the ground, it's totally safe, right? Eventually they'll go away. Oh, bad, I cause some trouble with bingo votes. Bingo vote has started, go to your bingo cards, good luck. Do we ever get guns to put on our bases to protect us from evil pirates? I've never seen that before. That would be fun. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't look like I'm joining your group. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna leave the game and maybe if I do like a complete restart. Okay. I think the the raid is over. I think. Alright, should I try it again? And down, welcome back down, got the bingo. Good job. Okay, so. Sending invite now. Alright, I should be coming. Poor solar panels are so confused at night time.
Mr. Mind Tech, welcome back. Oh, so what was the issue with the power line again? I forget. For some reason, it's not connecting from the magnetic electro power generator thingy back to the base. I'm not sure if it's a base building thing or I'm not sure what it is. How do you join? Oh, I have to send you an invite on Steam. Just a second. Hmm. You're not showing up on Steam, though. So I sent you an invite, see if the, how that works. out. Oh, that's right. I'm still working on that. I can't open my storage stuff because we don't have any power. <laughs> well, that's not good. So, do you need help over there, Jeff? Or is it easier for me just not to be involved? I don't know. I'm about to give up on this thing. Is that working, or...? I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. Because you're, you're drilling through the ground, running lines, right? Pretty much. Boss fight. Is this another one of those fights for that boss fight bingo game? You people take way too much pleasure in beating up poor little kittens and helpless squirrels. I just found a hole. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it over top of the land now. This tug. Just to get it working. Pretty it up later.
think you just heard one of the animals fall into one of your holes. <laughs> no, I just feel bad. Well, it sounded like it screamed, so I, I'm figuring, I'm guessing that's what it was. I mean, it may not have been. No, I'm sure it was one of my holes. Yeah, it could be. Oh, you guys do links with one too many machine guns. That is number... Oh, we've already seen that, so another vote. Go to bring your cards, cook a number. So this is our midway. He's a killer? No, he's not a killer. He's just injuring things. They may or may not be dying. Um, my tech, we're friends on Steam, right? I sent you an invite. At least I thought I did. Or sorry, I saw, sent you an invite to the game because I we became friends earlier today. It's, I could have sworn, but I'm not seeing you online on Steam. Mr. Mindtech46, there you are. So, let's see this. I'll invite you to the lobby. You bought it on Microsoft? But we're friends on Steam. It should work that way. Oh, you're running. Well, I think you're. Does it still work? Hmm. Well, yeah, send me the friend code then. Or either whisper it, or, and if you don't want everybody to see, just whisper it to me in Steam or on Twitch and just let me know that you did it because I'm not really paying attention to whispers. So what do you do? You put down like a little light on the ground and just connect the cable to it? Yeah, I was doing that for a while. No. Well, the heck's your base again? Uh, almost. Oh, almost there it is. Still north, almost. Yeah, I'm just doing a new line just on top of the ground now. I've given up with the holes. As long as the cable stays blue, then it's working. And now it's red. Why is it red? Because it doesn't like you. Do I owe Ada a bingo vote? I'm not sure if I do or not. 
How to do I you, you bingo vote? Hello. My name is Veronica and welcome to 31 Games in 31 Days for Extra Life. Gimpy is raising money for his local children's hospital, Rady Children's Hospital San Diego. If you would like to help with a donation, please click the Extra Life button below the video screen or type exclamation mark donate in chat, and the brain bot will produce a link. Thank you. These lines are weird. You sign on Discord? Okay, just a second. Type this in by hand. That's stupid. Just a second. <laughs> I'll be able to copy and paste that thing in. Needs more dumb but uh, more numbers. Okay, so there we go. So, how do I add you in then? Now you should be able to join. I, I, I don't know how this works for this way because you know with steam we send invites that way so I don't know how this is supposed to work now that we're friends well it's not so much first time playing in years thing it's more important part is how does this work I mean because we're friends I don't know how you find the game now I don't know how that's supposed to work. This is frustrating. I don't think this is going to work. It's... So it's just not connecting, or...? I think it's the going through various... Um, you know, you, ha you had to... take ownership of a particular piece of land with the construction... Uh, with the note, with the the base thing, yeah. Yeah, the base thing. So I think going through three separate base things to get to your base, it's it's doing something. Why I don't know. But haven't you used it some something similar before? Uh, 
for a power station this far away? No. No. Oh, okay. I've never did one this far away. I did other stuff farther away for uh, uh, mining nodes and stuff, but not not this. Hmm. This might be a bit different. Because it seems to... I can get up to here where the uh, purple light is, but then if I go a little bit further towards the base, it's it kicks out for some reason. So... I'm not sure why. Oh, I can see... Oh, is that the red line you're talking about? The red line is... line that's not working if it's blue. That means you got power going to it. So I got power up from the power generating unit up to where I'm currently standing. And that's a new line I ran just over top of the ground. If I go a little bit further from here, it just doesn't seem to do anything. And, with, and within range of this thing to build a base stuff, right? Yeah. Actually, I don't even know anymore. For some reason, now if I'm doing like the line going back to the power unit, it's red. So I don't know anymore. Where did you put a battery? Does that help at all? I was trying that, but it might. battery there. Oops, wrong button. I don't have any lights. Oh, cap. It's probably too long. The cap standing light. Oh, consumption light with an extended lifespan. Fully recyclable components. Uh -huh. Okay, I give up. I don't know anymore. Did it? Oh. So, so even the battery wasn't take, taking power? It might have been too long a run. One sec. Nope, even that one's dead. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I wonder if he... Well, this isn't a huge deal, but... What if you drill the hole directly through the mountain? Instead of doing the little potholes. Would that work, maybe? So you can actually see the line the whole way? No. No, no it doesn't matter, okay. Wow, is there something buried under the ground there? 
Because I can see the blue line going in and the red line coming out. What's going on? There's some there? stuff buried around uh, in various spots here. Oh, okay. Boss fight. Is this another one of those fights for that boss fight bingo game? You people take way too much pleasure in beating up poor little kittens and helpless well, I'll squirrels. I'll try one more time. And uh, vote started for the bingo card as well. Go to your bingo cards, click a number. Good luck. Still waiting for one more winner. And those power things can only be built there. Or Aren't your legs getting in. stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. There might be another hot spot around. Stretch you have damage. to look around for a bit, you but there's the uh, closest one I was able to find. Okay. There might be another one closer. There probably is one closer. If you do some searching. Alright, try number two. And cute little kitten killed by Gray, Hobo, Bata, Delm, and people. Little kitten. Kitten is number two on your bingo card, number two. And Hobo got a bingo. Good job, Hobo. Just for Jeff. Mingo for Jeff. That's a blue line. Go red briefly, then it went back to blue. Still blue. That's right. And red. there goes red. So right here is. It's a half. Well, this is the halfway point between the the base to the power generator. So I don't know. Where's that battery? Yeah, but it might be a power. It might be a cable length thing. The batteries are not a bad idea. Okay, because we have a battery up here. it just a little short so get there for now I guess Let's see if that helps nope oh but the blue line's not going into it That's what I was thinking, is maybe putting the blue line into the battery. Because we know there's power to that distance. Maybe that might help. Maybe. It's not charging the battery though. Well, 
Or is, are they even out? Is the power thing even on? It's on. Unless I screwed it up with putting too many... Which oh. shouldn't be an issue. I, hmm. I mean, a blue line, that means that battery should be getting charged. Yeah. Okay, the hobo card, or the hobo card, the bingo card. It looks like everybody's gonna get a bingo that got bingo, so we're gonna end this game and start a new one up. If you'd like to play boss fight bingo, just go to the right hand side of the video screen, about halfway down, you'll see three buttons. Click on the stream bingo button and then choose to join the game. As the boss fights happen, they will determine the numbers for the card. So, why would the line be blue, but the battery's not charging? It's a good question. Is there a way, or does the... No, it doesn't care. It, there's no flow of electricity as far as the batteries care. That I'm aware of, at least. No, there's no, there's no actual directional flow of electricity. At least I haven't seen any. Any indication of that. How would we know if the things are even working? <laughs> okay, so I'm getting power up to here. Is it charging the battery? No, I put like a little light here. The pink light. Oh, and the light comes on? Light comes on. So I'm getting power here. Oh, I can see that. Okay. And that's where it dies, though, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Halfway point. Hmm. What if, well, <laughs> what if we took one of the power things and plugged it here, but that kind of defeats the point? I don't know, you won't be able to because it won't work here. Maybe, it, I don't know, do you think it might be a distance per connection? Oh. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Why is that line red? I, that's, I don't know. It's blue going off to the other connection, but it's red going to the battery? I give up. I don't know. Something for you to play around with later on, maybe, but I'm done with it. <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> I think it's the going through multiple. It's it's just too far away from the base. Yeah. I think it's either a length of the cable. There's. I think you got the right idea with um, like using a battery pack to either you got to use a switch or a battery pack or something to extend the cable, or maybe even a building. Mm -hmm. Or it might be that it's going through multiple base zones. So it's. It's something to do with that. Exactly what it is, though, I'm not sure. Yeah. That's, but that's how you said it before, you have two base zones. I've never... I don't think I've done this quite like this before, with the, it being this far away from the base. Usually I find the power first, and then I'll put the base close to the power. Oh. So I never had... The only thing I've ever did long-distance runs like this was for... Um, um, mining, but not for power. Oh, so you're delivering the? Wait, what do you mean? What's the difference? Oh, mining is like uh, mining minerals. You can have pipes and stuff to extend. 
from the mining zone. You can have automatic mining zones. You haven't probably played around with this yet, like no. for collecting no. gas or collecting some other stuff. So you have to, it's kind of the same as like for the power thing, for the gas, you got to find a particular spot, you can build it, and then you can put out like pipelines from that location over to your base and put like the collection towers right by your base. So you don't have to run back and forth all the time. You just have to be right by your base and you can collect everything from your uh, um, collection towers. Oh, okay. You probably saw some of that by my first base. Those tower things that you saw there by... Yeah, I didn't know what they were. The so. Yeah, that's what those were for collecting uh, gas. But the gas collection zone was actually very far away from, from the base. Oh, okay. So, so I did the so same thing I did like I did here with uh, like with the holes to connect it back. So the, but the difference is no power, it's just delivering the product. Hello, everyone. The other product. My name is Veronica, and yeah, welcome to Gimpy's Twitch which channel. Is odd. If you are enjoying what I, you are watching, please well, click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. I did something that wrong. That way you will exactly be notified is, by Twitch know. when Gimpy goes live. I think you it's the length of the cable Gimpy thing. I think Twitter, maybe I gotta Gimpy use switches or something. He tweets out there when he goes live yeah, and will more than likely I'm follow you it. back. Thank you for watching. After a couple of hours, I'm just... I'm sure something will come to me, but... Well, it, should, like I say, it looks like it should be working. That's the funny part. It just said it magically stopped at that distance for whatever reason. And it could be related to distance, but it be, could be uh, too many connections, too. But I don't know what the length... Uh, are, I don't know. Are, are, is there a reason why you only go so far? Is it for the well, connections? That's or? the base computer thing. Like, for you, when you claim a zone it's only so big right you can only build within that zone that's why i asked you to build like another one in between because it wasn't big enough but i'm not sure if you can have in between zones like that or not so there might be it might be a building zone thing it might be like a cable thing i at this point after bash my head against it gotta take a break from it i i don't know yeah yeah don't worry about it out of mind. There's other ways to solve the power issue on this place, so... Probably. Well, yeah, it's called yeah. Uh, more batteries <laughs> to get us through the night. I mean, because that's really the only issue, is during the day we have plenty of power output from the solar. It's just at night there's not enough batteries to hold the power, to hold the charge throughout the night. So that's just a matter of just, you know, yep. that. It's not that's a huge deal. Not really. Yeah, more batteries would be probably the solution at this point. Now, these things, so oh shit, metal. I was supposed to be getting metal plating, <laughs> I got distracted. I was supposed to be getting metal plating. Your storage is not connected. Because it's nighttime. Oh. Yeah, but you still have power for the rest of your thing. Oh, uh, that's right. Because I, that's right. Because I move stuff around. So that's why it's not connected. Just a second. Problem solved. I'm going to start building some batteries. Um, if you want, I have to, I'm supposed to be picking up, um, I need to build the, the what is it, the um, steel plates to get one of these stupid, well, not stupid, but one of these, uh, vehicle things built. All okay. I need, all I need is some plates and we'll get there. Can't solve you, you're the problem. Of course you're the problem. But the ogre in the diaper just solved everybody's problem. Because he won. It's number nine on your bingo card, number nine. Well, that exploded quickly.
buzzing sounds annoying. <laughs> well, you're by where ships are, so you can have buzzing all the time. No, Get not that empty. guy. It's there's a. Get back in there and fight. Those are they the music or what? Mind tech, how do you get salvage data? How do you get salvage data? What in this game? Um, I don't know, Jeff. How do you get salvage data? I'm sure I know. Is that the stuff we were digging out of the ground earlier? There's a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, one sec, let me look. What's the salt deposits? Deposits there. Buried cash, I don't know, building, salt deposit, stuff. And that might have been the one from Crash Freighters or that you get from um, the Haunted Freighters, but I don't, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> My mind is fried from the electrical power lines. Was that the stuff that we were getting before, or was that something else? The stuff we were digging out of the ground, that's, um... I don't know, I don't think that was... Was that the salvage data? Are you looking for the ones for unlocking blueprints, or which ones is he looking for? He didn't say, he just says, how do you get salvage data? So I think that's... If that's the ones we were getting, then yeah, you just gotta search for it and then dig it out of the ground. Yeah, which I'm not seeing at the moment, so there's nothing in the area, so... I'm just gonna ride off in the sunset. There's no sunset. Oh, he's trying to get blueprints. So yes, those are the ones you find in the ground. Basically hold down the F key. Well, if you're on the Xbox, you've got a controller. Um, so, or did, you said you bought it through Microsoft, so we'll guessing it's Game Pass that you got it through. So, if you're on the PC, hold down the F key to look through your visor, and then you're looking for, of course there's none of them here, but see all the little, you know, diamonds with the object uh, symbols in them? There's one of them that looks kind of like a shield, kind of, and that's the one you're looking for. Just hold down the F key until you just do a nice little 360. You're on PC, yeah, so hold down the F key. And then one of these diamond things that looks like a little shield. And of course, there's none here to, you know, show you. <laughs> no, nope, there's some here. Uh, really? You see one? Yep, 354 you away. I tagged it. Look towards uh, oh, I southwest. See it. I got it. I got it. So that's what. There when you it, go. When I take stuff, do you see it as well, or? Yeah, it's blue now to me. Ah, cool, cool. So it's cool that it does that. So there it is, Mister Mindtech. See the see the little shield there. That's it. Yep. So you just got to find those. You run to it. It's usually in the ground or something. You got to dig a bit, and then. Hold E to unlock and you get some, then rinse and repeat. Yep. That's it. Forces you to run around the planet a bit. In the chain, you have a vehicle to run between points. Someday. Soon. Like, maybe. Okay, so I have the materials to build... The Pilgrim? The Pilgrim. So... So the question, can you put this on top of buildings? No. 
Yes. Yeah, you can put it wherever you want, pretty much. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because once you're kind of close to it, you can just call it. I think. Or is that from the freighter? It's probably best you put it on the ground, to be honest. That's oh, not fun. You can always move it later. Yeah. Oh, you did the motorbike. It's the one that, that's the one I had the parts for. Oh, okay. Doesn't need power? It's not. Well, you gotta put fuel in it, but... And then... You can... Get stuff for it. Probably comes with fuel, I would hope. So, my first extra craft. How appropriate, a motorcycle. Okay, so... Oh, it doesn't even have cargo. So it, all it does is cargo? Oh no, it's got some upgrades, doesn't it? Supercharged slot, which I don't have. Do I? Hello. Apparently My I name is Veronica and welcome to 31 games in 31 days for extra life. Gimpy is raising money for his local children's hospital, Rady Children's Hospital San Diego. If you would like to help with a donation, Please click the extra life button below the video screen or type exclamation mark donate in chat, and the brain bot will produce a link. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Happy Sunday. So, grip boost suspension or a high slide suspension? Cause it makes it be able to slide, turn sharply. Slide or turn sharply. Slide. And this is a grip boost suspension. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay. Ah, that was a good start. So does it actually have fuel? Yeah, there's fuel for it. There's your protection stuff. Fusion, it's a fusion engine? And you charge a fusion, uh, carbon. Okay, let's go. Oh, the WAST it's just forward and accelerate and drive with the mouse. Run stuff over. Ah, oh, and you're welcome, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nine Tech. Mine Tech, sorry. Oh, and if you hit the space bar, it, it, you get a bit of a hop. Okay. And if you hit the left shift, you get a power boost. Ah. That was only temporary. It's very quick, it looks like. That hop is not very hoppy. Use it for like popping over hills. It's kind of fun. It's faster than running. Yep, yeah, that's why it's like nice it to is. have. Yeah, this is one of the faster ones. It's kind of nice. Then you can build like little courses and stuff if you want to build like a track. Oh, just sits there and waits. Cool. Pardon me? I said cool, it just sits there and waits. Yeah, yeah, and then once you build... Like, there's something you can build on the freighter that when you go to other planets you can summon these now, so you don't have to build um, a summoning station at every planet you go to. Now yours looks a little different. 
Yeah, because I got some extra stuff on it. Okay, yeah, it's things at the top. Yeah, I got it sort of decked out a bit. Boss fight. Tubby. That's what you, you get like that? from the There is a boss um, fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. I call it the Nexus, but uh, there's another name for it. But you know that that purple circle uh, station that you can go to, that you can call. Oh, okay. The, you can get some blue, extra blueprints for this vehicle and some of the other vehicles as well. And you can get some bonuses, just like for your backpack and for your uh, weapon. Uh, same for your vehicles. Okay. So... I have batteries. Oh, so I have. Hmm. And then you can change the color and stuff for it as well. What? There's. There's X-Craft modification screen, and then you have the summoning screen. So you can change it from blue to purple and whatever. My health is toast for whatever reason. Solved. Okay, so... Um... Ion battery, as those are. Oh, there they go. Four. This is four stuff. I okay, just need to pick up five more plates and we'll have a second uh, little craft or vehicle to do. Okay, Cybernetic Zealot uh, was killed by Down, Bata, and Gray. Cybernetic Zealot is number four on your bingo card. It's so wrong that when I'm doing the boss, selecting the bosses that have been called, I'm holding down my button. All I have to do is click, but I'm holding down the friggin' button because of this game. Game teaches you bad habits. That's a big hole. Well, maybe not a hole, but a divot. Wow, stuff is just randomly disappearing off my screen.
Hmm. That uh, mushroom blew up pretty good. So what what do you need to do in this game still, Jeff, other than just random crap? There's no real goal. No real goal. I'm sure there's stuff, but... Well, the only real thing probably for me would be expeditions. And now that they made the big changes for the storage and they made, it, I think, a lot of changes for the modules you can hook up to your vehicles and... Um, I just... I gotta get the stuff needed to re-unlock stuff again, so it's... Oh. Yeah, do I really want to do that? Nah. <laughs> so been there, done that. Yeah, it's a grind that I'm not particularly interested in doing. I don't need more storage. I don't need more money. I don't need a more... Well, now that they've changed the combat, that's probably some stuff I should be doing there to... Make my gun better and make the ship better for combat, but hey, bag of know. water, stretch your legs. I don't know. The exploring stuff was in more interesting for stuff. Far for me. too long. Yeah, I do that once in a while, but not too too often. Right. And so many different types of planets. It's kind of cool to sometimes just wander around and not die. Normally, you don't die. Well, it depends. Well, I remember. The radiation storms and freezing storms and all this other fun stuff. Yep, that's why you got to get the right modules to ha have it so it has less of an effect on you. Right. Which you can buy. Once you get most of that, then most of the planets is fairly safe. For the most part. Oh, this is a good one. The mech. The mech rocks. Minotaur. Oh no! What? My guy's on top of your guy. Get down from there. There you go. Oh, you can paint them a little differently, it looks like. Yep. So. Like, there's two screens on them. One is for summoning them, and one is for changing the paint colors and stuff. Right. So for this thing, you walk around, but then the big thing is, like, you literally just hop around where you want to go. Great for if it's really hilly. Oh, uh, they don't give you technology to install like they do on the motor motorcycle? Yeah, no, it's technology you can install on this one as well. No, but they don't, so for, they don't give you any starters like they do with the motorcycle. Uh... There's probably some. I don't know which. I, well, on the motorcycle, all I had to do is was click on the the square, and and something pick you know popped up to install. There's nothing for the oh. motor. Okay. But the monitor is still cool. So, so the space bar to hop, and you just walk around where you want to go. But the hopping is pretty much... If you want to go somewhere quickly, you just hop around. That's a jump jet. Okay, jump jet then. <laughs> That's not a hop. That's a jump jet. Well, it's... It's kind of hoppy. Turn in your mech license, Drew. Or your mech warrior license. So how do you paint? Then you can set up... Oh, okay, one sec. This. Do you have to do it from outside of it or do you do it inside? Yep, no, leave it. And then come to where I'm standing. So you have two terminals here one for summoning okay. and one for it's called the extra craft modification. You can change the color and stuff. Thank you. And you get, it's the same for the motorcycle as well. Then you can set up like uh, artificial intelligence in for it to follow you. 
And I think you can have it so it can actually protect you from sentinels and stuff. Okay. I haven't quite got that far though. But it's probably the coolest vehicle in the game. The orange isn't very orange. <laughs> it's more of a yellow, but... A new toy. Yep. Oh, the green's nice. So, can you. There's no combat with this thing? Yep, there's combat with those things. But you probably gotta buy the right modules for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You gotta plug stuff you in. You get that from the. What I call the Nexus. I keep forgetting what it's called. Space station stuff. The space station. Not the main space station, but the one that you can call. Right. But from the main base station, you can buy um, improvement modifications from that one. But from the other one, you can buy stuff like a, a gun for it, a better laser. Uh, scanner, I think an AI thing to make it follow you, some other stuff. Oh, really? Yep. So you don't have to be in it. So this is actually more of a power suit than an actual mech. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's yeah, borderline. Uh, it's borderline. I would say it's a mech. Since those aren't your arms and legs on that thing. And it's a mech. Yeah, I guess. If it was a power suit, I would say that if it's actually your arms and those arms and your legs and those legs, I would say it's a power suit. Right, yeah, that's right. yeah, you're right. <laughs> Needs guns. Hey. Can't throw punches. It's not right. No, it's actually yeah, got lights on. It. Yep, there's lights on it. Well, I I noticed the spotlights before, but then I I was able to see the front, and so there's actually stuff. So that's a cannon. Whatever the bore thing is. Ooh. That's a laser. So handy for flying Sentinel sometimes, but more for just going around the planet mining, especially if it's really hilly. It's the jump, the jump jets are nice. Yeah, this jumps yeah. really good. You can get stuff to make it jump even more. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I can see this being popular. Yep, it was a nice addition to the game. It's done pretty well, too. Yep. Now to install the module in your freighter, and you should be able to call that thing wherever you go. Okay, so that I need tri or tritium. I don't think we might have that in storage. Unstable plasma. I have no idea what unstable plasma is. Do I have any tritium in here? Tritium, whatever it is. I do not have tritium, so that's a mining thing out in space. Unst 
Are you talking about the the summoning station? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just throw one in here. Oh, that's right. You have to learn how to make the plasma, right? Of course you do. I'm not sure how you make plasma. Okay, now you got one. But you what you need the one that's on the freighter. So we got to go back to your freighter. Oh, you need Oh, you need one here and there? That part I don't know. I don't think you need one here. So I can just pick this uh, up and put it on the freighter. No, you need a different one on the freighter. Oh. I think you bought it, though. I'm pretty sure you bought it. I have the Exocraft Summoning Station. Yep, let's go on the freighter and then see what you can build on there. But isn't that what this is? Uh, similar idea, except now that if you take your freighter and you go to a different system, you can call your vehicles. This only works within this system, I think. Hello. My name is Veronica. And oh, so you can summon wherever you are. You can summon your life. vehicles to you. Gimpy is yep. raising money okay. for his local children's hospital. And he put it on the freighter. Children's Hospital San Diego. Anywhere. For the if freighter. If you would much. like to help with a donation, yep, pretty much. As long as the freighter is in the same system as you, you can call the video it. screen okay. or type exclamation mark donate in chat, and the brain bot will produce a link. Thank you. I wonder if Jack or oh, no, freighter. You should be able to teleport it. Teleport from here. I don't see it on the list. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's, power it's, station, power station, home base. Nope. But that's okay. It's in system, right? So I'll just fly to it. Can you teleport to it? Yeah. Are you there now? Yep. Oh, I'm not there it. yet. I'm looking at the gate, but I'm just making sure that I'm seeing it here, and I do. Okay, maybe if you go there once, maybe then I can see it. We'll see. Okay. Because I don't think you teleported to it before. Did I? You, you teleported no, I started the there. Answer. I started on the freighter today. That's right. Yeah. I actually haven't ta teleported it. I haven't teleported there today. But I started there today. Okay, I'm on the freighter. Yep, no, I don't see it. So I'm going to fly to you. Oh, this is weird. It's not on the list. It teleports you onto the freighter, onto a room above the deck outside? That doesn't seem right. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've never used it before. That doesn't seem right at all. That doesn't look right either. It's kind of a new thing they put into the game. Well, new. I've never used it yet. You can move it. It's a bug that doesn't show a deck on your ship. Oh, really? Actually, I don't see your freighter. Not even in the sky? Did you move it? No, I haven't moved. It looks like it's bugged. My freighter looks bugged. Yeah, it's something's not right. Something's very wrong. Yep, it's I don't <laughs> see it. It's it's bugged. Basically, not seeing the anything outside of the control room and the hangers. It looks like is bugged. Yep, because like where I go, I go to the spot where you're at, and it's empty space. I don't see it. Can you leave there or? Um, I could probably go back to the teleportation thing because it's still there. Okay. Maybe. Uh, what was it? That's the hangar. Okay, 
Okay, where was it before? Back this way? Yeah, back this way. Oh, now it looks like it's here. It has been resolved, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, my, uh... It's not here. Crap. Great. Storage room, storage room. Trade room. Yep, I still don't see it. I see it says aboard capital ship, and then dash phased beside you. Phased? I don't know why it's or what that means. Didn't I? Go? But it's you're not. You're just not. I just don't see the ship, or I don't see you. I can see roughly where you are in space by an icon. Like a little blue dot, but that's it. Hmm. Hmm, Did, weird. Didn't I build a uh, teleportation room in this place? On this yeah, thing? That was, that was the first thing we did. That's what I thought. It's not here anymore. I I might have picked it up and moved it by accident and put it somewhere else. Because I just did that. Weird. But it's not showing up as a room that I can build now either. Oh, because I built it. I don't think you Oh, that's right. It. Oh, shit. So where'd it go? Because it should be in your main big room. Right. That's where we put it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know anymore then. You might have to leave it and then try to fly to it with your ship. Then we could take a look at it, but right now I can't even see the freighter. Hmm. Storage panel is just doing it here. Oh, I'm only safe shaping the rooms here. I don't want to do that. Decorations? I guess they are. This doesn't seem right, does it? That's kind of like really broken. Loading parts in here. We had a little bit of a problem out in the middle of space, it looks like. So the teleportation room has disappeared. It was here earlier. We installed oh, it earlier. Gone. It's not where we left it. If it's here, it's not where it was left. Are you looking in the big sort of storage room that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I don't know. Must have been some weird glitch then. Hmm. So. I join you to take a look at it, but I can't see your ship. 
<laughs> Fun stuff. And there's no way to teleport down from here, is there? Back to the planet? Uh, no, you won't be able to teleport to the planet at the moment because um, you have a power issues. Insufficient power. This game loves you. Apparently it does. That's not my ship. That was not mine either, I don't think. It is. Okay. Okay, found my fight, my ship at least, so we can fly back down. Well, that's something. If I survive. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get attacked and killed by pirates. Well, it's not too far to get back to the planet at all. No, nope, not too far at all. I just got to point in the right direction towards my base, which is where. Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? If not, you really should. I'll try to don't have any stuff on the site. Pulse engine not available. Planetary infant whatever. It's easier to find my base now because we have the three bases out there. We show up a little bit better. <laughs> makes it easier. Yep, makes it easier. Nice little cluster of stuff. We can't fly faster though. Oh, engine boost. Okay, so I'm here. All right, back at my base. Oh, I'm just doing some wheelies. Yeah, I saw them. Hey, just hit my bike, damn it! Oops. <laughs> so, what did I come back here for? Just see if we can teleport back up or fly back up. Oh, let's see, I actually can teleport. Sure, it puts me. What could possibly go wrong other than getting stuck in the ship again? Well, I wasn't stuck in the ship. Yep, so under group, I can see your three bases on the planet Space Station, my stuff. Yeah, I think I might have. I, I don't see your. Um, your ship. My freighter. Well, I went back to the freighter into I went using the Stargate and it's disconnected. Okay. Well maybe we gotta take a look at the freighter. Maybe if you fly to it with your ship I can join you. You wanna try that or I'm trying to yeah. build stuff. I was trying to get into build mode but it's not letting me. Build mode on the ship or build mode here? In the ship. That's weird. It looks like it's Life support is offline. And the, the gate is not connected, so I can't use it. Hmm. But you're on the ship. I think I'm on the ship. It sounds like I am. I don't know where I am. Then you can probably go back to the... I'm taking damage. 
taking damage. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on then. You shouldn't be taking any damage on the ship. I would think so. And you're probably offside the ship somehow, which is bad. Okay, I'm teleporting back to the planet. <laughs> the, the ring at least worked to get me out of there. I don't see you. I haven't got back yet. Oh, okay. Because it was the the gate is actually in a room with no doors, so I couldn't get out of the room. Okay, let's try. I'll fly there. I'll follow you on my ship, and hopefully, I can get in there. Okay. Well, I was able to walk on the around on the freighter before a couple minutes ago, but when I used the gate to go back, it didn't work. It put me into the room with, with the gate, but there's no way to get out of the room. Weird. That's my freighter up there. Okay, I'm in space. I'll wait for you up here. Already. Okay, I should be in space. Just need to find the freighter. Where are you hiding? I think I see it. It's... I don't know where it is. I should have seen it by now. Fugitive Starship? Oh, come on. I'm just sick of pirates. Is that that noise? Yeah, uh, that's a noise. It's below me? It shouldn't be below me. Yeah, I don't see where your ship is. I should have seen it doing little circles here. Or loops, whatever you want to call it. Cause that's Maybe you, can you summon it? Like hit E and... Oh, there it is. I found it. It was. It's below me somehow. Must have shot past it. I should have seen it. I don't know why I didn't see it. Can you see me? Jeff? Uh... Okay, yeah, I see you now. Okay, I'm right above it. I don't see the ship. Yep, no, I don't see it. Okay, let me land on it and see if that helps. Okay, landing. Landed. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, it's... I'm not sure what it is. But I don't see it. Do you see me? Uh... Yeah, I think so. Okay. I just launched from the ship. Question for Jeff. Yeah. He have his freighter on the same system? Mm, I, I did, but then I dismissed it. 
it was here a second about a minute ago and I just dismissed it okay well I guess this is not gonna happen <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head back to your base where is your base oh, <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. Bring in Docking Bay Grand Bay. So, threat detected just as I was landing, so. And. I have no. It's probably idea. pirates attacking again. Only one freighter can be present. Okay. Well, he's not trying to get to his freighter. He's trying to get to mine. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That might have been part of the problem then. Oh. Because I just dismissed it. Like, there was two freighters there at one time. So that might have been a part of it. Hello. My name okay. is no, I wasn't aware about the two freighter thing. One games in 31 days for I don't do a lot life. of multiplayer on this. Gimpy is raising money for his local Me children's neither. hospital, Rady Children's Hospital San Diego. If you would like to help with a donation, please click the extra life button below the video screen or type exclamation mark donate in chat, and the brain bot will produce a link. Thank you. See, so the, the the Stargate room is around here somewhere, but it's in. It's I think it's somewhere in one of these walls. Could be. Can you make these things into big? Um, just a big empty room? This whole I think area. so. I haven't played around with it that much. But they've made... They added a lot of base building uh, capabilities for your freighter. But I haven't really explored it. So in essence, you don't really need a base anymore. You can just do everything off of the freighter. Right. What exactly are we doing? We're trying to find my Stargate room <laughs> on the yeah, ship. Yeah, you might, you might have to rebuild it, I guess. But then you're going to have to unlock the blueprint for it. Right. That's, yeah. See, it's... That's from that space station that you can call. Right. That I call the Nexus that I keep forgetting what it's called.
How did we misplace the Stargate? I don't know. That's the funny part. I don't know. Okay. And Jeff had to fly back to the planet, and again, we have no gate here to get us back down to the planet quickly, other than, yeah, we don't. What happened was, I, what, I took the gate up here a while back, I took the gate up here, and when I arrived, the gate was on the deck of the ship, of the ship, and none of the rooms we were just looking at wasn't there. Yeah, he has to do and give a description. And so, but when I came in, I came into the ship, and then we, I teleported back up here, and it put me back in. It put, gate, the gate is here on the ship. The problem is when you go there, there's it's in a room, and there's no way to get out of the room. The only way out is to take the gate back to wherever. Yep, so at this point you probably have to use the... You can edit the rooms, you can move them around. So you might have to use that function. I was just trying to do that and events seem to be helping too much. No. Then I don't know. No, it wasn't on... I don't, I don't think it was on the roof. What, the teleport room? The teleport room. I don't think it was on the I roof of it, the ship. It might have been. I might have misplaced. I thought it put it in the. No, that was yeah. We put it in the right spot earlier today. It was just when I. The the thing is, is when I arrived, or, I mean, like what about thirty forty minutes ago when I first got onto the freighter, it put me. I went through the gate from the planet and it put me on into this into the room, and but when I. It was like a, it was just kind of like floating on top of the deck of the ship. Yep. So, like if there's a conflict, sometimes it'll pop you up to the next highest building type thing. So it's something's not right. Yeah. Hey, there's still a threat out here. That's great. But my freighter's still here, so it's not a big deal. Your freighter should be able to handle it. I'm just gonna go fly on by. They can chase me onto the planet if they want. They might. They do that now, I guess. I think they're going to catch me, though. Yeah, you can reset the freighter. I see we get all the pieces back and start from scratch. I have no idea. You can probably deconstruct everything that you built on the freighter and start from scratch. Oh, yeah, I guess it's, it might work. Help! Life support low. That's what? not good. What? For you. What's going on there? What? Life, my life support is low. What happened? I don't know. Recharge it. That's one way to do it, I guess. That did not help. Well, hit X and see what it is. Oxygen fixed it. Yep, oxygen fixed a lot of the good stuff. There's an option for rebuilding everything on the bridge? Okay, so I'll just got to remember to take everything important out and do that. Yep, something for next year. <laughs> Jeff knows how this works. Batteries are working. See, so power solution is I need more batteries. Maybe some yep. more solar panels. That's probably a good idea. Much better than my plan. Yeah. 
Well, I don't know. The plan was actually pretty good. It's just limitations of the technology, I guess. Yeah, something's not working. I'm not... Funny thing is, probably like five minutes after we're done playing, I'll, it'll come to me, but something... I'm not sure what it is. It I'm could sure. be a couple of different things. Yeah, it's probably not a huge deal. I, I think it... I don't know. It might be related to just too many connections. Yep, that's that part of Like the length of the connection might be part of it. Yeah. Uh, going through multiple building zones might be part of it. I'd have to play around with it, but... After bashing my head against it for a couple hours, it's, that's, I'm done with that. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. I'll figure it out. Well, like I said, I know the solution, the actual solution to the problem is more batteries here. Because, the, like I said, the solar panels, they, per, they produce enough power for this station. It's just that once the night comes around, um, there's just not enough uh, storage. You can build like a big room behind your, your uh, storage buildings and just fill it full of batteries. Yep. It's always an option. I could start that now if you wish. Nah, don't worry about it. We're almost done. That's what I figured. Hello, everyone. Hey, Unfortunately, it goes. is time to end the stream. Gimpy needs to eat dinner and spend some quality time with Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs. Have a great day or evening. We will see you tomorrow. Also, make sure to click the follow button and visit Gimpy's YouTube channel. Okay, can we build more stuff? Oh, I don't have dioxide on me. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we can do the red one, though. We still got two uh, growing domes for growing stuff that I may or never need. Super Champs, welcome to stream. More collaborations. Your voice is like. Garrus from Mass Effect. Someone already told you that. Nobody has ever told me that one. Garrus from Mass Effect. The first game? Yeah, nobody's ever said that before. I've been accused of sounding some like some people on YouTube, but never from a video game. Well, the reason I asked the first game is because I wasn't, I haven't played the other two. <laughs> so that's why I'm a horrible person. I haven't played the other two. But anyway, I do have to get going. Mrs. Gimpy's not here, but she uh, sent me a message earlier that I have to make dinner for me and the dogs. She's gonna be able wow. To Can you yeah. cook chicken? Oh, yeah, it's easy. All I have to do is just, uh, what is it? Uh, boil it? Boil it. Well, it's not so much boiling it as um, it's already frozen, so it just has to be defrosted and heated up. And it's just a matter of putting, like, a little, uh, little bit of water in a pan just to thaw it out and heat it up a little bit. So a little bit of Tabasco good. sauce and no. perfect for the dogs. No, never no. do that. Never do that. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jeff, for coming out, helping me out. Again, I haven't played this game in a year. Easy. And lots of changes, even in that last year. Well, even the last year, I I think it's been a year. It might have even been even longer. I don't know if I played this last year for Extra Life or not. I didn't, I'd have to look at the list. But, um, no. I mean, it's not a bad game. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> I get... Um, Choice freezing, or I don't, I don't know what the, I forget what the proper term is, but there's too many choices, and I get pulled off. I, I try to get stay focused on one thing, but I get sidetracked, you know, because I've got the attention span of a papillon, so I get really easy distracted, and you know, stuff happens. You only do the expeditions. <laughs> See, I don't even know, I don't even know where to start. That's the, that's the problem. There's so many choices now on what to do. I don't even know where to start. So. 
and now there's the the whole settlement thing that we started earlier today that uh, we didn't go back to after because it was a two hour delay before we could do anything more with the settlement so we went out and started doing other stuff and we just never made it back um, you know there's just so many choices and that's what's going to be calling right now I'll call her back so anyway like I said thank you Jeff thank you everybody for coming out and watching very much appreciate it um stream schedule duh, 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 for again we're playing a different game every day in the month of october for extra life and uh tomorrow we're playing some uh stranded alien dawn which is um kind of like room world but 3d ish 3d engine i don't know if it's an actual 3d game i think it's still two-dimensional as far as designing the, the layout of the base not kind of fun stuff but we'll see from there But anyway, um, so anyway, uh, tomorrow, Stranded Alien Dawn. Tuesday is Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to be flying around the San Diego area here, pointing out the different stuff, like where the actual location of Reedy Children's Hospital actually is, and some other things, um, like where I went to high school, maybe I went to college, a couple of jobs here and there, all over the place. Um, anyway, that's on Tuesday. Wednesday is Lost Adelons, Adelons, I think they say that. Thursday is Lords and Villains, Friday, MechWarrior Online, and then Saturday is Battletech, and next Sunday, MechWarrior, uh, sorry, not MechWarrior, Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord, which officially releases on Tuesday, October 25th, so there we go. So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stream tomorrow starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for Stranded Alien Dawn. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow. Changing children's health in illness and trauma. It's about making the child and their family have everything they need to feel stable, comfortable, and prepared for what comes next. You can help change kids' health and change the future for all of us. Register at extra-life.org.